Hey, this is part two of my slide tutorial run. So here we are in the first level in Wales, and already we have a split in the path between the two routes, whether you want to get roll or rollless. And if you want to get roll, what you normally do is go through here, and you want to trigger this cutscene because in the route that gets roll, you want to head out that way towards the boat and get bottles. You pretty much want to get all the bottles for this route, or for this level, as this is a level you're required to do, and the bottles are relatively quick to get as well. And the reason that you want to get bottles for this level is you only you get the dive attack for getting all the bottles in this level, but the way that abilities in this game work is that the second safe you unlock is always going to have roll, regardless of which levels you got all the bottles in. Likewise, the first level you get all the bottles in is always going to be dive attack. So yeah, we in roll route, roll route, in the route that gets roll, you pretty much get um, the bottles you need in two levels that you're kind of forced to do. But for roll this route, we're actually going to skip this cutscene by not going up into this tunnel through the trigger. If you notice right here, I just kind of got launched up by this sign. And this is called Catapult. And pretty much whenever you land in very tight crevices in this game, the game will like eject you out because you're not supposed to be in them. And sometimes if you get really deep in, it'll launch you out really hard. <laughs> and it kind of makes for some really big breaks in this game. But yeah, for a rollless route, you want to go behind this sign and if you see here the second E in keep out, or not the second, but the first E in keep out, this one. You want to just like dig your nose into it and you'll also get some pretty good height. I'm not getting enough though, unfortunately. This is where the BS begins in running this game. But yeah. Catapults are pretty much completely luck based. Like you there's no guaranteed way to get a catapult like first try or determine what height you get from it. You pretty much just go into these crevices and eventually if you get lucky you'll get the right height really quick. And if you notice here I'm kind of in the out of bounds area now and I actually go over the trigger for this cutscene at the top here. Normally end up the, the cave is right here and then you go this way for all this route to get bottles and whatnot. And instead you just jump down over here. But one thing I want to note really quick is you do not have to get enough height to get all the way up here. You can actually land on if you get enough height to land on this rock or this ledge, you can actually just jump right up here. And this is a lot easier. And you're probably going to get the height to get up here from that more often than just landing all the way up. Anyways, from here you just grab this rope and just head on through. Some bottles around here as well that you'd get if you're getting roll. Now this cutscene, it's in an ideal run where like say a segmented run where you got the catapult like first try both times like in a segmented run skipping this cutscene by loading your game and going all the way back would be possibly like a couple seconds faster but you would pretty much have to do the catapult once getting here like first try immediately and then after loading your game get it first try immediately the second time like getting like really lucky catapults but for like most in single segment runs like 99% of the time you're going to save more time by just watching the cutscene the catapult is just too inconsistent anyways you're just making your way through here as I said if you're getting roll you'd want to be collecting all these bottles this level's pretty basic And for this next part coming up, I don't know what to really call these things. I guess I'll just call them like wheels. You can actually like from here, 
from on top of this, land on top of the fences for these things, and hop across them to skip waiting, but by the time you get to this part, um, these are going to be in a part of their cycle that it's, I'm pretty sure it's actually slower to get on top of this and wait for this thing to roll around enough to, for the fences to be on your way to stand on these, because you can only stand on these fat parts that it ends up actually making it slower than just doing it the normal way. It's just one of those like sequence breaks that are <laughs> there but they aren't really useful. Anyways from here just go on through the level and just wait for these. Now if you are getting bottles what you normally do is go up here get on top of this cog. From here you can actually jump out and grab this rope to get those quicker and then get those bottles and go down there. But in Rollis you just run through here. And you just go over here. And you get the key. If you notice in the bottom left corner there's that slime mask. Whenever that pops up it means the game is auto saving. Which is pretty important right now to know. As that'll be a nice hint for you later for landing certain tricks. Anyways, um, for both roll and rollless route, I mean obviously for rollless you wouldn't even be going back here, but if you're doing roll route, you'd go through, you'd actually not unlock the safe your first time. You'd go through here and you would enter the hub world area and then you'd come back on your revisit, climb back over here, get this last bottle through the safe, or through the fence rather and you do your start the cutscene here and as soon as Bentley start ta starts talking about the ability since you already went to the hub world you could bring up your map with select and then just skip that cutscene and just warp to the hub world but since we're doing roll we're just gonna go over here into the hub world and ignore the safe and the bottles and whatnot and once you're here this is the only other time or other situation where loading your game is not for skipping cutscenes and if you load your game in the hub world it'll warp you to like it's a set point it'll warp you here into like the middle of the hub world and that skips having to run all the way over here and go down here and whatnot likewise if you're doing roll route instead of like unlocking the safe watching the cutscene and then entering the hub world and loading your game you could enter the hub world go back into the level and then skip the cutscene for the safe and then map warp to this spot and it saves about seven seconds anyways um... that's it for that level and there's a couple pretty big tricks that are about to happen in the next part so i'm gonna have those as their own separate video so yeah thanks for watching stay tuned <laughs>